80% of people allergic to cats are allergic to the FEL-D1 protein produced in the saliva, skin and some organs of the animal. Contrary to popular belief, this means it's not the cat's hair that causes the allergy, although the allergen can accumulate on it after self-grooming. There are a number of cat breeds that produce less of this allergen, making them better for those who suffer from allergies to cats. Animal Wise reveals what they are. Siberian Although characterized by a long and dense coat, this is the cat considered most suitable for allergy sufferers. This is because they are believed to be the feline breed that produces the least amount of the FEL-D1 protein. It's important to note that no cat is completely hypoallergenic, and adopting a Siberian doesn't mean you're 100% protected. It does mean that if you have a mild allergy to felines, you are more likely to avoid a reaction. Discover more about the Siberian cat in the video we share above. Balinese Despite having a long coat, the Balinese cat also produces less FEL-D1 than most other cat breeds and may reduce chances of the allergic reaction. Bengal Cat Considered one of the most beautiful cats due to their wild appearance and intense gaze, they may be another best friend for allergy sufferers for the same reason as the previous breeds. This is because their levels of the protein production are lower. If you want to learn more about the characteristics of this breed, don't miss the next info video above. Devon Rex Although many tend to think the Devon Rex is hypoallergenic because it has a shorter coat than the rest, we reiterate that hair itself is not the cause of cat allergies, but fell D1 protein production. It does help that the Devon Rex is a breed that sheds less, meaning the relatively small amount of allergen that can accumulate on it is less likely to be distributed throughout the home. Javanese Also known as a colour point long hair, this is another of the hypoallergenic cats that produce fewer allergens. Oriental Shorthair Exactly the same thing happens with this feline as with the previous, since the only difference between them is the length of their coat. It's always advisable to carry out periodic brushing to keep dead hair at bay and reduce diffusion of the protein. Russian Blue Thanks to the thick double-layered coat of this feline, the Russian Blue has been considered one of the best cats for allergy sufferers. This is not only for producing fewer allergens, but also for keeping them closer to the skin and passing on less from human contact. Cornish Rex, La Perm and Siamese These three are not felines that produce less of the Fel D1 protein, but they do shed less hair than other cat breeds. It is for this reason they are sometimes considered hypoallergenic cats. Since the allergen accumulates on the animal's coat and skin, it can distribute through the home when it falls or is in the form of dander. Cats with a thicker or curlier coat like these are less likely to spread the protein. In these cases, we recommend making contact before adoption and observing whether an allergic reaction occurs. Tips for living with a cat if you have an allergy For starters, keep your bedroom door closed. You should prevent your cat from entering your room as far as possible to prevent them from distributing the allergen to every corner. Get rid of rugs and similar items in the home since they tend to accumulate a large amount of cat hair. Make sure someone else brushes your cat frequently to prevent excessive hair loss. Since cats expel protein through urine, their litter box must always be clean and allergy sufferers should avoid handling it. Neutered cats produce less of the allergen, so if yours has not yet undergone this operation, don't hesitate to talk to your vet. Finally, keep in mind that there are medications capable of considerably reducing allergic reactions. See your doctor for advice. If you want to keep learning about other cat breeds, don't miss the playlist we share here. Do you find your allergy differs with certain breeds? Share your thoughts in the comments and we'll see you next time.